Good day, racing rescuers. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Racing Lagoon. It's episode four, Racing Lagoon. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out, we rescued, uh, was it Yuki Suzuki? Yuka Suzuki, Yuka Suzuki, that was it. Now it's revenge race time. They challenge us to an R. Revenge race. That hurts to say like that. I wanted to do some, you know, voiceover work after this, and it may not happen. I can feel myself sinking deeper into the night. And the thing is, I'm letting it drag me in. Still, I can't say I expected that shit show last night. Oh, this is, what, Bay Lagoon Tower? I think we drove by it. That's me, I'm show. I'm all go. Totally not a reference to Rapongi 3K. Rapongi 3K, sh no, show and yo, that was it, yeah. The night racers need a tighter leash on the twin turd bros. Uh, Kensuke and Shinsuke. Be ashamed for their team to fall apart, uh, fall apart over some dumbass stunt. I mean, this kidnapping, I mean, would their team fall apart if they were charged? But then again, does anybody end up running in, running afoul of the law? Like, seriously, properly afoul of the law. In, uh, Fast and the Furious? I've only watched the first three, and I damned if I can remember any of it. I wonder if they're still on Prime Video. Note to self, watch the boys. I mean, I, I say that realizing that I probably will have watched it by the time you guys watch this, but... I, I've gotten grief at work. Steve watched Stranger Things. Okay, okay, so I'd watched the first episode of it before the last two episodes had dropped, and like... So, over that over that weekend, I caught up on the whole shebang. Now I've got to next is up the boys, and I'm supposed to watch Peaky Blinders like, God damn it. Kids won't do anything but watch Netflix. I'm not that old, but sometimes I feel old. It's a revenge race. I can't say it like that. I did earlier again, so sorry. A one on one showdown between Iki and Akira. We call that a time in battle. But tonight's opening act is a race between me and Makoto. No idea how that happened. I'm on the undercard. I was sure he had Kyoji pegged as his rival. He's looking for an easy one. Have I got the speed to handle Makoto? No. Three hours till showtime. Better shape up while I have the time. Shape up or ship out. Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh. There's a train. Time ticks away, and the walls inch closer. The city is one big prison. Inmates eye each other greedily. Then shank. But in the pursuit of speed. We take back our freedom. And recover our lost memories. Hey there, speedy boy, driving all alone? You've got the unofficial race fever. And I, Nanako, have the cure. Okay. So we got cutscene time with Nanako. Hiya, you look like you're on the prowl for a race. Nice to meet you, I'm Nanako Ayo. Aoyama, next leader of the Yokosuka Black Knights. We got a bit of a cash flow problem, so we're hosting unofficial races till we're back on our feet. Hey, Tai, nice gal. What's your name? Do you know what an unofficial race is? I'm on Bay Lagoon Racing. The name's Show. Oh my gosh, you're on Icky's team. Icky's a legend. They say he cleared every unofficial race in South Yoko in one night. Alright, I gotta explain what unofficial races are to you. 
Ahem. Unofficial races are extreme racing challenges designed for experienced drivers. Any street racer could join. It's a bit like a total free-for-all situation. Winners are showered with fame and fortune. We hand out some pretty nice rewards. So what do you say? Well, I mean, if they're offering it to me, may as well give it a shot. Yeah, maybe just one. Much appreciated. Alrighty then, which race do you want to enter? You get a choice? It's not just like... I'm pretty sure I'm under 1,000 kilo. Well, Bay Lagoon Short. Pretty much our home track at this point. So how many people are in a... Uh, yeah, we know this one. Right, left, left, right, right, right. Right. Uh, then what? Right, left, and then back to the start. Alright, and go, go, go! Duck out of the way that ugly green thing. Oh, it's a lot of laps. There's five laps. Interesting. I wasn't expecting a... Not the best run through the triple right, but in the back of this thing. Uh, we're hung up on the outside. We've got a little pull here. Well, we didn't lose that much more speed than this guy did in front of us, so tires were a good call. If I do say so myself. I left that long to turn in. Man. He just hammered me out of the way. Alright. Well. We've got three more laps to make it up. And we know we're fast. So, and we just have to not get. We just have to not get impatient here. Can we hang it on? Yep, we can hang it the long way around. Bad line. Need to swing it out wide. Slipstream exists in this game. Ain't Gran Turismo levels of slipstream, let me tell you, but... And he's gotta fade me. He's gotta prove fade me. Let's try and... Yeah, I was off the throttle, like, basically through that first turn into that last sequence there. So I got two to go and this guy is holding me up a treat. I definitely got out of there better than him. And the question is, do I run the long way around? Yeah, I do. Okay. Not pretty, but effective. Now we gotta try and find. A way around this guy. Okay. 
He's faster than me in a straight line. That's gonna make it tricky. So we're gonna have to find a way around him somewhere in this rhythm section here at the end. Ah, shit. Well, unless I can duck him, nope. That's the thing. A lot of momentum killers in this sort of game. There, wait a... Oh yeah, I can skip the replay here. I'm a little disappointed. A lot of momentum killers in here. I could do it, though. But we'll see. And it's the load screen for the load screen. It's just a matter of finding a passing zone, right? Because they can lean on you pretty hard and not lose any momentum, but... You don't get the same luck. All right, so it's the same crew. Green's slow, so we got to beat him off the line. Now it's just a matter of trying to find the passing zone. They get up to speed faster than me. I'm not sure. I, I, I am pulling him on, on blue a little bit here. He's going to Pruitt fade me coming down this way. Now I know I can hang faster here. If I held that together, I would have gotten by him but might be able to get him here. I just chop across. A little on the daring side, but I take that flat. He's got me up the inside there. I did not take that turn well. So he'll have me a bit on the inside down the straight. Oh boy. He definitely tried to trip me up there. I got a little chicken shit through there. Hang a lot of momentum around him there. It's a two horse race at this point if you look at the minimap. I, I snuck a quick glance. Definitely stick it up the inside through there a little. Use a lot more confidence through the triple right section than I do. And this is the one time I, I dare to look at the at the mini map. All right, I really have to sneeze too. This is problematic. Hang on. I edited the sound out for you, don't worry, but yeah, that was coming for a... <laughs> if I, if I... I couldn't have timed it better, being able to do that on a straight. Because if I did that in the middle of a turn, having to pause in the middle of a turn, or having to... or sneezing and just your eyes slamming shut in the middle of a turn, wall... But I also have the problem of I, I've lost... Okay, I, I know where I am. Double left into the triple right. Not ideal through there, but... 
So that's what it is about Lost Rhythm. The importance of... Got hung up a little wide there. L1, 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 final lap. Okay, yeah, we didn't lose. Even if we did clatter the wall, we didn't lose too much time. You lose time fighting with people. Oh, that was interesting. Speaking of losing time. Yeah, you lose time fighting with people. But that slowed me down enough that I didn't have to do too much worrying through the uh, triple right section. We got ourselves some breathing room. Again, referring to the mini-map. Don't have to worry about traffic. Off the throttle early is basically... I'm just keeper planted in the center in an easy win. There we go. And we can we can skip this one. See what happens now that we've uh, got ourselves a a victory. Now well, bonus rewards. I got flying blue wheels, but no cash. Cash, as they say, is good, but... So let's push Starford and Machine Complete. So let's see. Yeah, we're five kilos short of, uh... A full, uh, of the heavyweight challenge, but... That's about right where you want to be. A thousand and one kilos. And then you get into the heavyweight. Oh, it doesn't really do anything except just change the color of your wheels? Oh, okay. Okay, well that's the thing. Okay. Hey, but we won one of these things, right? I assume I'm going to start from the parking lot, as we tend to do on uh, the starting new nights. Yeah. I feel like now's a good time to maybe just grab a quick save. Uh-oh. Who wants to have a chat with me? They're pulling me in here and we're gonna have, have a talk. In the old mileage station. Uh-oh. What's Kyoji up to? Show how you been? Good luck tonight. I'm up to my elbows and grease over here. Can't chit chat for too long. I'm gonna make sure you're 100% prepped for the race. I feel built a bit guilty. It was meant to be your race after all. Cut that out, man. Don't start getting all mushy on me now. But still, come on, cheer up, pal. A win for you is a win for Bay Lagoon. Oh, almost forgot. I got some old parts laying around. Got any use for this? Oh, it's a plasma ECU get. It's gonna kick me. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna kick me back out of here to this. Shall we meet machine complete? This then. Let's push start. So we do have an ECU. That's the first thing in the list here. It's a low-range ECU. Now we'll see how this goes. It doesn't hurt to have a little more uh, 
That's... Hey, you know what? Any little bit helps, right? I think... I, I... I hope I'm not wrong in suggesting that. Okay. Now we'll save. Now we'll drop a GS. And Ko Kyoji will... Let us, uh... Yeah, that's the plan, buddy. I thought you'd appreciate. Jeez. I don't think you guys need to see the save menu, so... Losing a big race might land you in game over. Yeah, we noticed. Pick and retry when you game over gives you another chance to prove yourself. You can skip stuff you've already seen by pressing start, then scene skip. And you can't skip any of the street chat, though. It'll save you some trouble. Well, thanks, buddy. So anybody know where we're going? Not to, I guess we're not going to go check out some baseball. It's disappointing. It's Minato Street. I guess it's probably by the tower, eh? Oh, I drove it to someone in the shadow of those buildings. G-R-A-T-I. Big ass wing on that thing. Look at those giant ass spoilers. You won't be able to see anything out the back of it. I didn't even look to see. Oh, this. Have we been to this one? We must have at this point. And go, go, go! Got a little room off the line. Shit. That was not pretty. So we could have taken some room out of there, but didn't. Got spooked off by the inside guardrail. We're still good enough to win, but we should have won by more. Nah, eh, maybe if we level up, we got some more power and shit. That would be nice. Nah, let's down on power. I don't know if we, we might have one of those already. I have no idea what I got now. That's the problem, is you can't go look now at what you got. I don't think I gotta worry too much. Yeah. But if somebody had, like, a better... I-4... This brings us to the track. Yeah. Neo Bay Area Street. So we can do a run around the test. Oh. Uh oh. Are you the Bay, the bay Lagoon guy they've been talking about? Zeta 3000, some unknowns. Uh oh. Well, this is either a great idea or terrible. If I could just keep it on the track, I'll be fine. So we kind of know our way around here. We did some laps last time. 
So hopefully, I still remember my way around. Titans on the exit of one. I don't know if this is a, a two or three lap race. They got me off the line. We're gonna have to make it up down the through the corners. What the hell was that? No, it was tight to the inside, but it just kind of sucked me around. And dove in a little fast, but... Making up room here, so it's three laps, I think. I lost a lot of time off the start, though. That's a problem. A lot of speed left in that one. A lot better than him through there. Crossed him up through the rhythm section. Do I got I don't got anywhere near the pace though. I'm woefully Underprepared here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got the level up. Did that get me anything? Uh, let's just see the state of my car, though. I'm gonna get 100,000 yen, okay. Might need it to go over C. Spencer. Well, it got me some more slots, so... Need something else to put in that slot there. Oh, he put all our chassis parts on here. Oh, unless it was looking for a. Uh... We're good there. Not sure. Still don't know. Let's see if the uh, tune shop is going to help us any. I guess we didn't come back here since our first attempt at night one. All right, machine gun torque. 
so he claims. Doesn't do discounts. Our home turf, but... Not friendly to the BLR. So we can get, uh... I think I got an air filter. I think I got the good sport tires, so I'm not worried. Well, holy shit, if they're worth that much, I could sell them and get some shit. Got any, uh, I can sell it for 25,000 yen. I'll take that. So, how much does this? I'm not going to run that, so. Okay. Well, I could just go right into Machine Complete and take a look at what I got right now. I wonder if the air filter might be a good buy then. Oh, well, so what's buy unit? Not sure. Might be a bit big. I just throw a body on mine. But nah. I get a beetle. But no. See if we can. Not great, but let's try machine completing that. Let's see how it stands up. Oh, that's down. All right. Well, never mind. That was a waste of five thousand yen. Everything good is obscenely overpriced. Which is disappointing, but it is what it is. We can always make our way back over here. No, no, I'm going the wrong way. Kyochi can give me a quick save. Alright. So, I'm thinking if we head south... At least I know where we're going. So it's gonna be in this neighborhood. Probably in the sort of tower district. Just gotta look for the gathering. I 
I'm guessing. Well, Bay Lagoon Tower. Street racers of Bay Lagoon are always under the gaze of its oppressive eye. Whoever watches us from atop its spire sees only the imaginations of tiny ants. Tonight, too, it launches over us. A haunted tower of ghosts, a sinister icon, or a guardian angel. I suppose we'll never know. Hey, hey your show from Bay Lagoon, right? Up for a race? The winner takes home cold, hard cash. Newbies don't need to pay in, so it's risk-free for you. We'll pay up if we lose. The highest level pays out a whopping 400,000 yen. Well, it's no risk. We're logging a lot of miles around Bay Lagoon Short, which makes me wonder what Bay Lagoon Long is. But at least we know kind of where we're going, so. We'll give it a crack. We'll, we'll see what goes on. That's a big thing in front. Oh, because it's a, an outback. Are you sure this is the right track? We're fast, though. Good thing I didn't have to buy in. So I don't know how many laps. This might be two. It's a long track. The short track's 2,000 meters on the nose. And it's the same section until we get to the uh, top of this straight. I was going to say, am I sure that's the Outback and not a minivan? Because instead of right, it's going left. Got bounced off into the side, into the guardrail there. I don't think it's going to be a sh Sharp as it looks. Well, maybe it will. No, well, we'll just muscle our way through. Nuts to him. Now we get to see what happens here, not knowing where I'm going as we go into the rhythm section. And this is back to familiar territory. Ah, shit! I went right instead of left. And that's probably going to cost me the race if I had a prayer before that. Man, I'm just I'm just trying too hard and There we go. We got a lot of momentum to get by that guy. And we are not going to be able to catch up P1. I probably could have slowed down there. I just kind of flung it in there just to see what happens, but apparently that one you got to slow down for. It doesn't look like it on the minimap, but... That one you can take as almost a double apex turn. That one you can take flat.
Well, that didn't go as well as one hoped. Still gotta figure out where the hell our race is. We can park back here at Bay Lagoon Wharf. One hour left till the face off. Cruise the streets, unofficial race entry, hang here for a while. Okay. So is it, it is based on whatever time measurement metric it's got. Around the bus. Yeah. Oh. Not allowed out of, uh, We're not allowed out of South Yoko yet. Spend all this time ducking people and... Oh, you son of a... There we go. Just trying to get into a fight now. So what have we got? Uh, a Celica. N wonder how much of that's on uh, his version of the i4 and how much of that power is based on uh, aftermarket parts he might have tossed on. And lights out and away we go. Okay, through that turn. So we kind of come down the cross streets. Hold it nice and smooth-ish through there, and hey, we set our own. We found three seconds over our previous best speed through there. I'll take that. Two thousand rewards points. Now what's this guy got? Could steal the whole engine. I'm not sure how big the, uh, if it would fit in my car. I don't know how these upgrades work. That's the thing, is I'd like to see... I want to see the item box. I want to see what actual items I got. Like, what what my engine is. I thought it was a That's all it says is a 86 live engine. No size, no nothing. Oh, no, 1.6. Yeah, I was right. I mean, if there's a fast 1.6 out there, I'll, I'll, I should steal it. I don't know if I could fit a 2 in there. Now, so we've done some stuff today. I feel as though this might be a good place for us to leave off for the moment, and then we can come back and kind of pick it up next time on uh, Racing Lagoon. And oh no, there was someone there with a. I didn't catch who that was though. 
I wonder if that's to kick off the... I bet you that's to kick off the race. Okay, we'll call it a day here for Racing Lagoon. Next time up, next time up, we're gonna... I guess, run ourselves our, our story mission. But until we see you for that, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on Silent on Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more Racing Lagoon in the playlist. Hits on the screen in the description down below. More videos and time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next year.